Hi everybody, today we start uh, with a new topic uh, that is uh, the modal analysis. We will do a modal analysis on a cantilever beam that will be uh, that will have a height of one uh, one thousand and one hundred per one hundred of base. Now we will go creating basically two groups one group that will be the volume so uh, solid apply and the other group will be the base to create a boundary condition apply and close now we go to the mesh We will go for with a simple global algorithm with uh, let's say twenty per twenty quad dominated mesh. It's a very fine meshing at the end. Uh, doesn't matter for the purpose of this uh, video apply and close so we imported the group from the geometry we go now to alpha study we will save the study Okay, so we create a new stage with a mesh. Okay, model definition. We have a 3D model, so we will assign to everywhere mechanical characteristics of a 3D model. We will create a material for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. I will put the density of one, but you will have always to put the right, let's say. Uh, density of the material you have in your analysis we will go to assign the material model material assignment everywhere we will put the material we created okay then uh, we will fix the base so enforce dots and we will put it group of element fix we will block the three translation okay okay now we have to call this command that is called assemblage assemblage it's needed to create uh, uh, the correct uh, matrices for the computation so we will start with uh, the mass mecha that is the mass the mass um, the mass matrix and we will call it mass then we will create uh, the rigidity the stiffness matrix uh, and that is called uh, rigimecha and we will call stiff then we will have to specify the model that is here specify the material and uh, here we have to um, let's say give a name to this um, concept let's say that uh, is needed uh, to correctly 
numerate uh, the matrices uh, so we'll call it dofs uh, and then we will create a load we will put a load that would be our fixed condition okay so now we have the correct matrices we need to um, call these calc modes that will um, perform the modal uh, computation the stiff is uh, the rigidity matrix uh, the mass is the mass matrix uh, then we will go plus petit that we'll call the first uh, frequencies uh, we want uh, a Sorensen method of resolution and uh, we will call the first let's say 20 uh, let's say 15 modes okay now we will go printing these results we will call it 3d modal dot armed save okay I didn't put the what result I want to uh, print so we will ask for print calc mode with all the fields that are contained in this uh, field of results so now we can go here we save and we start the computation the results Placement we will put let's say a deformed shape and then we can inspect all the modes that we have calculated here with uh, let's say the deformed shape and here with uh, the frequencies it's all for today in the next video tutorial we will see how to perform this kind of uh, computation with uh, beam elements live long and prosper